Hey there, this is Craig Shoemaker, New Media Evangelist for Infragistics, and I'm here to demo a new control for you found in NetAdvantage 2008, Volume 1 for .NET 3.5. It's the Web Dialog Window Control. So to start things off right, I'd like to give you a little demonstration of what we're going to be building. What we're going to do is we're going to launch the window by the client side and the server side. And this is going to be basically the hello world for using this control. So if we click this button, we get a window that comes up client side, no post back. And um, you can click on this handler here and drag this around and you have full drag and drop. You can set this uh, to be a modal dialog so you can't access any of the buttons behind it and a number of other things, but we're going to keep it simple right now. You do have, again, full access of the HTML and the ASPX markup that goes in inside of here, so that makes things easy. For right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the close button and send that away, and then I'm also going to launch it server-side. And if you notice, we did the post back, but what happened was the control was able to persist and know what its screen position was. And that's something that happens in the control by default. You don't have to do any coding for it. Um, and so you got a chance to see how we launched the, the window server-side and also client-side. So let's close this up and let's show you how it's done. So what I'm running here is Visual Studio 2008, again with .NET 3.5 installed, and NetAdvantage 2008. So let's start by creating a new website. And I'm going to target the .NET 3.5 framework. And we'll put this in here and just type in hello world. And what's nice about the templates that come from 3.5 is that all of the Ajax configuration is already set up in the web config and there's, there's nothing you need to do to do that. So in order to get things going, the first thing I'm going to do is add a script manager control to the page. Now, since only one script manager is allowed per page, I'm not even going to worry about putting an ID on it, and .NET will kind of take care of the rest. So the next thing that I need to do is add in the web dialog window. So I'm going to come over to the, the NetAdvantage uh, area of the toolbox and double click on that control. What's going to happen at this point is that it's going to bring in the markup that we need for the control as well as the, the register tag that, that the page is going to need in order to find the object. So from there I'm going to switch over to design mode and what that will do is it will bring in the style sheets and, and all of the information it needs in order to give it the look and feel and the images and the CSS files that comes with um, the application styling that for, for NetAdvantage. So we're going to click on this OK button and now the preview will come up and you'll see that the style sheets and the coloring has been brought through. So that, that's really nice. So the one change I'm going to make here is I'm going to go down to the properties and I'm going to tell it that I want it to start off with a window state of hidden. Because as you come to the page, I want you to have to click on a button in order to see it. From there, I'm going to switch over to the source so you can see exactly what's going on and what's necessary in order to get the, the markup in there. And so what we're going to do is add in a content pane as well as a template tag. And after we do that, now we can put in any type of ASPX or HTML that we want. But for now, what I'm going to do is just put in an H1 for Hello World. So we're just about done, but we need one more thing. We need a button on the screen in order to press it to, to make the box come up. So I'm going to add just a regular plain old input button. We'll make the value show, and we'll say that this is client side. And let's add in an on-click handler. Now this gets really easy because the Ajax is already loaded up for us, so we'll use the find method. And all we have to do is pass in the ID of the control up here, and call the show function. After we do that, we're all done. So let's launch this and take a look and see how it looks. So I should be able to click on this button and see the dialog box. And there it is. All right, so that's client side. Let's implement it for server side. 
So the next thing I'll do is come over here and put in ASPX button. For the text, I'll just say show server side and run it server. So to wire up the click event handler on the server, I'll switch this over to splitter design mode and double click on this button. And now in this code window, I can say uh, web dialog window one, window state, and move this down. And we're going to say normal. So now we should have a client side and a server side button that works to change this, the, the default state of the window. So let's show it server side, perfect, and client side. Excellent. So now let's add one last step to show you how you can have basically the best of both worlds. What we'll do is add an update panel around the server side technique and you can uh, see how that works. So we'll add the update panel right in here. So we just surrounded the web dialog window and all the buttons with the, the update panel. So let's run this. And what I'm going to do is going to come back and just to verify that we are actually posting back to the server, set a breakpoint in the, the click event here. And so when I say show server side, I'm breaking at the, the breakpoint, but we don't have the full post back. It is a JavaScript call. So let's try that again without the breakpoint. You can see that uh, no post back. So that wraps up the demo that we have for the web dialog window. Again, this is Craig Shoemaker. If you have any questions on this screencast, please feel free to send me an email. If you have support questions, the best place to go for that is infragistics.com slash get help. And if you'd like to take a look at the documentation for the latest version of NetAdvantage, head on over to shrinkster.com slash x62. Make sure to check out the website for further screencasts on this control. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Infragistics, powering the presentation layer. Infragistics.com.